एवरीवन सो दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज रिगार्डिंग द ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो हेयर इज द कंटेंट ऑफ ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल सिस्टम फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नीड ऑफ ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल देन इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन हिस्ट्री ब्लॉक डायग्राम इट्स स्कोप एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड लास्टली वी डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स एप्लीकेशंस सो वट इज द नीड ऑफ ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल सिस्टम so car accidents dominate the transportation industry in regards to number of deaths that occur on the road accounting for 94% so in the last years the car accidents dominates the most so to reduce the car accident the traction control system is being used so traction control is a modern day solution to the problems such as unnecessary skids power loss due to less traction and railway track traction control basically half a million car wrecks every year so for the safety measurements traction control being constantly developed to keep drivers safe while there are many old methods which are used before the traction control and one of the method is limited slip differentials but the problem is that the limited slip differentials are inefficient to handle the critical driving solutions so there is a need for more advanced traction control system arises and hence the electronic traction control system or the track system comes onto the picture so let us discuss about the introduction of traction control system so what is traction traction refers to the maximum frictional force that can be produced between the surfaces without slipping and in automobiles the traction is responsible for the movement of vehicles or when we design the wheeled or tracked vehicle there must be high traction between the wheel and the ground and is more desirable than the low traction because it allows the more energetic acceleration without even wheel slippage the purpose of traction control system is to prevent the wheel spin from occurring due to acceleration so now let us discuss about the history of traction control system first is the four wheel drive so a perfectly capable car or truck becomes completely useless when stuck in sand mud or snow early in the development of modern motor vehicle engineers realized that four wheel drive was one of the answer by sending the engine power to all the four wheels at least one wheel would have enough grip to pull the vehicle though and the second one is anti lock braking system traction control system uses a form of technology designed for aircraft in the 1950s called the anti lock brakes aircraft engineers developed a system of mechanical sensors to measure and detect when a wheel was skidding and hydraulically release the braking force on that wheel with an anti lock brake system an aircraft could apply brake with the maximum stopping power without skidding now let us discuss the advantages and disadvantages of four wheel drive system the advantages are it reducing slip no delay no driver intervention required and the disadvantages are it requires more hardware it is non economic and the performance drops in four wheel drive system now the advantages of anti lock braking system are the wheel locking is avoided and the sudden throttle control is also avoided and the disadvantages are not effective at concerning maintenance issues and not effective at skidding so here is a block diagram of traction control system so the inputs are shown in the left hand side and in the middle the process control is represented and in the left and in the right side the controlled outputs for the track system is shown so now what is the future scope of the work the scope of work will be to maintain the initial reference torque well within the motor maximum torque limit while controlling the starting torque to avoid the jerk 
so to find the optimal value of integral gain and design parameter for avoiding oscillations and to get a complete control of electric vehicle in the controller design your control for the lateral stability should also be taken into account so this is a car based on traction control system basically when a car or any vehicle is based on traction control system then the chances of accidents will be reduces and this is the track wheel speed control against time with this speed we get the target control speed of the vehicle so now let us discuss about the benefits of traction control so it avoids accidents whenever there is a sudden twist and turns on the road then the traction control helps the vehicle to turn their vehicle and then the it avoids accidents its its uh, wheels are non slippable that is slippage of wheels reduced driving a powerful car and it is mostly gripping now the applications of traction control system are it is used in road cars race cars motorcycles and even in off road vehicles and the disadvantages of traction control system are it wear on brake components it holds the performance driving it allows 10% wheel slip it is banned in f1 racing